morning. We're at the airport. It's early. It's uh, about, I don't even know. I think it's before 4 a.m. still. So it's early. Uh, but we are getting on a plane to head to Denver and we are gonna visit a couple of the national parks in Denver. So we're super excited about that and we're super excited to take you all along with us. Hi, and welcome to Colorado, the newest series from Roadies Roam the World. We're in Colorado in early May of 2024, and we're heading to our first stop, Pikes Peak. We made it to Denver, and we are on the shuttle bus. We are on our way to get our rental car. And then we are off to experience Pikes Peak this afternoon. Remember to like and subscribe to get notified about our latest content. Hey, good morning. How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing all right. Have you ever been up here before? No, sir. So we're not open to the top. Uh, we can't get above tree line because the amount of snow and blowing snow up there. So we're blocking it just below tree line, mile 13 and a half. Gift shop at mile 13, so gotcha. $30. Pikes Peak is one of the 53 mountains in Colorado called the 14ers. As you might have guessed, a 14er is a mountain peak with an elevation of at least 14,000 feet above sea level. At 14,115 feet, Pikes Peak is the highest summit of the Southern Front Range of the Rocky Mountains in North America. Located in Pike National Forest, this mountain is only 12 miles west of downtown Colorado Springs with the town of Manto Springs at its base. So yeah, so here we are at Crystal Reservoir. This is a reservoir that was built, I want to say they started um, collecting water in this reservoir in the 1800s. Um, and the reason for that is because Colorado Springs, which is where Pikes Peak is located, um, is really a desert. Um, they receive less than 15 or 16 inches of precipitation in a in a total year. And so they use the snow that falls on the mountains to, uh, when it melts in the spring and the summer, to collect that water and use it. So this is Crystal Reservoir and this is Pikes Peak. Unfortunately, we won't be able to make it all the way to the summit today because there is, as you can tell, it's very windy and there's lots of snow blowing up there. Um, and the guy said it was still pretty deep. So they do not have the road open yet to the summit, but we are gonna go uh, 13 or 15 miles up um, is where they're the road closes um, and then plus there was some lookouts and stuff so on the way back down we'll be able to get some more footage. Here's a little bit clearer view of the reservoir and Pikes Peak.
Pikes Peak is named in honor of American explorer Zebulon Pike. The Pike Expedition failed to reach the top in November of 1806. Fourteen years after Pike's discovery, in the summer of 1820, Edwin James and two other men climbed the peak in two days with little difficulty. As a side note, James was the first person to describe the Blue Columbine, which is Colorado's state flower. The Ute people who called the Pikes Peak region their home were the Tabagachi, whose name means the people of Sun Mountain. It's thought that the Ute arrived in Colorado around 500 AD. However, their oral history states that they were created on Tava, which is the Ute word for sun. The Ute were referring to what we today call Pike's Peak. So we are at is the top. Well, when I say we're at the top, we're not at the top. We are as far up as we can actually go today. I think I mentioned earlier that they closed the top top, the summit, to um, oh, because of the blowing snow. It's too windy, and lots of blowing snow. But right here, the wind's actually not too bad because, well, that mountain blocks it. So, this is as far as we get to go, folks, um, up Pikes Peak. So I think we're about 13,000 feet. We had another thousand to go-ish to get to the top. It's a nice day. It's a nice, sunny, clear day, almost no clouds. Sun's nice and bright, nice and blue skies, just a little windy. And it's definitely chilly up here. Um, I don't know what the temperature is at the moment, but we were in the 60s when we, for, at the bottom, when we first started to climb up. And it's probably, I don't know, 40s with the wind chill. We were just told that they are opening the road up a bit further, and we are stoked to go higher. Pikes Peak is a National Historic Landmark and is composed of a characteristic pink granite called Pikes Peak Granite. The color is due to its large amount of potassium feldspar.
It is believed that this pink granite is crystallized magma that formed 20 miles beneath the Earth's surface over a billion years ago. In July of 1893, after admiring the view from the top of Pikes Peak, Catherine Lee Bates was so inspired, she wrote the song America the Beautiful. After enjoying the chilly and windy view, we are off to our next destination. We're heading south to Creststone, Colorado, where we will visit the Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve. Make sure to like and subscribe and come back for part two of our Colorado adventure. Next time on Roadies Roam the World.